Hello, this is Anthony Parenti with Berkshire Hathaway. I am here at 40 Apollo Road in Bethel. And before we go inside, let me just tell you a little bit about the neighborhood that we're in. This is a, a cul-de-sac, Apollo Road. And you are so incredibly convenient. Uh, I wanna say three minute drive in your downtown. You could probably walk to downtown in about 15 minutes. You'll probably walk to the train station in about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, this property was built in 2003. There's city water, city sewer. There's a, a two car attached garage and vital siding. It's on 0.38 acres. And let's go inside. By the way, these are the original owners. They had the house built in 2003. And there are several original owners still in the neighborhood. So, hello. And very open two floor entry. And, but let's start at the office. So this is great. Uh, could be a home office, could be a den, a library, but nice spacious room, my guess probably 12 by 16. Two windows, so great natural light. Very high ceilings. But as we continue into the house, all hardwood floors, including in the kitchen, but great entry area. And let's go to the right. We'll take a look at the dining room. This is the front to back very large, very spacious dining room. Uh, and it's right off the kitchen, incredibly convenient. But you know what I love about this is you could have, you have a whole other section here. This could be the kids table, this could be the, the dessert table. You could put the, for Thanksgiving, you could put all the pies and ice cream over here. I don't, anyway. Um, so as we walk through, we'll go upstairs in a minute. Coat closet. Nice. And before we get into the kitchen powder room, everything, everything here is 2003. Uh, beautiful kitchen. The kitchen was redone in 20, 2020 and 2021. Gas stove. And of course, that leads into stainless steel and a little eating area with a slider to a deck private backyard but you know what the great thing oh by the way pantry great storage you can go to Costco <laughs> um, I want to tell you about this is the family room this huge huge family room you can do so many things with this a uh, little little desk area and you know what? The family told me they love to watch, because the house faces west, they love to watch the sunsets from this room. But beautiful, very spacious. Actually, you could probably, and there's a gas fireplace, you could probably kind of carve this up into a, a room with, with multiple purposes. But this is, this, is, this is beautiful. Nice high ceiling and looks out on the private backyard like I said we'll get to that so let's go back and I'm gonna show you downstairs you know the basement is not finished but there's so much that you could do with it. you could create a few spaces so tile floor storage space and great great closet space great storage space and out this way is the garage two car attached garage this is a poured concrete foundation so let's go into an area that they're using for storage, but you could do so many things with this. 
Sorry for all this stuff, but you know what? This could this could be so many things. You could have a sitting area. Your your kids could hang out with their friends. You could have a computer desk area, kind of little work area. You could have a, a little reading nook, and maybe over here you could have a little uh, a kids play area. Uh, maybe they could put that's where they could put their toys, but. And, and you know what? The other thing is the, the, the ceiling is high. I want to say this is, what, maybe it's an eight-foot ceiling in the basement. How fantastic. So let's go back upstairs. And up to the bedrooms. All four bedrooms are on the fourth floor. By the way... You know, if you have guests over, uh, the office den uh, could possibly be a fifth bedroom. Because there is a closet in there. So up. And let's start over here with bedroom two. All the bedrooms are spacious. Double closet. High ceilings again. I have a little walkway. You could look down on the entry. Let's call this bedroom number two. This was, I think, oh, with a walk-in closet. Isn't that beautiful? Very spacious. Corner room. Plenty, plenty of natural light. A lot of natural light throughout. Same. And bedroom number four. Another walk-in closet. Oh, look at that. Great space. And upstairs laundry, full size machine. And then let's go into the primary bedroom. Well, before we do, hall, bathroom with linen closet, and there's a tub and a shower, but let's go into the primary bedroom. Walk-in closet, store a lot of clothes there, tray ceiling, Again, great, great natural light. You could see the sunset. Again, this face is west. And another closet. Fantastic storage. And the, actually, the owner works here. There's, there's so much room in the primary bedroom. I mean, you could set up a work area here. Uh, and full bath with jacuzzi and shower and double sink. Great, great storage. My problem was I, I, I buy too much and but this is this is what a beautiful house. So just to end up I'd like to go downstairs and out on the deck because the deck overlooks a private backyard. Like I said, it's 0.38 acres. Okay. Of course, this is the first day it snows. One of the few days it snows. So, what a beautiful private deck. I'm, I'm guessing this deck must be, I don't know, 12 by... 20, private, you could grill. The owner loves to sit out here, especially during the autumn. The, he said the colors, the, the red and the yellow and the orange, they're, they're gorgeous, but you could see the, the side of the cliff. And let me just tell you, um, yes, this is a 2003 house. But uh, the owners also made improvements. 
what they did was in 2009, they put in a new furnace in 2000, I'm sorry, 2019, new furnace, 2019, new what water, water, hot water tank, 2019, new AC system, uh, in 2020 and 21, new kitchen. Contact me, make an appointment to see this property. It's a beautiful, beautiful opportunity to live in the wonderful community of Bethel. Um, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.